What's up everyone? And now you ask, what are the benefits instead of Classic Explorer? Well, actually on the desktop right now if you can see, I didn't have any icons. But if you left click, you will see some the desktop icons. And why is that like this? Because it has a full GIF support images. And I know that this is really really awesome and you can have gif images in your desktop and well like that so you can change it whatever you want and for example the start menu you can add here some tiles by create a new tile go to program and basically select a program what do you want for example i will pick notepad on the desk you can also set here an argument how big the tile will be so you can medium and now we have a notepad tile here so we can run it and it will work or you can change the size like in Windows 10 and you can also change your custom colors like this so you can change for example red to green and it will show okay sometimes <laughs> you can uh, play with around and you can change what your look is is better or for example like this pink or with light blue to pink and i can also choose from red whatever will show up and look at that it's so nice look at that for me it is really cool like this and well before the older shell this shell had only one color and now this is really awesome or if you want but i don't recommend it sometimes it will show up like this really messy and what this does is that the start menu will only render the title bar's color instead of those two colors only so it is better to have it like only the two custom colors because then it will the start menu make it yourself and you can also go for example to another items and it will show up an icon and for example if you want to shut down your PC then you are ready to go it is like Windows 98 and also a big improvement to for example if we here go to this then we can right click on it and we can now close the window pin the app bar or start a whole new process so we can pin the app bar but it sometimes will not work I I figure out why and because the folder where windows stores your pinned items from your taskbar you must run it as admin well you can here also go to task manager well pretty basic also you can also disable some or enable some toolbars like those you can lock the app bar like this you can run one dialog and the one dialog is actually pretty different between the windows one so you can choose with purchase start or with shell that's a programmer ways how to do it basically if you have only a simple program like explorer.exe and you didn't didn't have any arguments then uh, the purchase start is better and if you have something with arguments then uh, you can enable the shell fine. and also if you go to advancement you can change more setting as you want also the window upwind style etc and you can also run it once for example when we go to notepad you can run it once that is defaulting or you can run it how many as you want you have here okay wait, what the heck okay well sometimes yeah in windows 11 it this little box will strange up i don't know why but well yeah by me it is completely normal but well hell yeah okay here you can basically set up your your time zone and it will be showed here how what what time is it there etc if you find here some bugs please report me those in the comments or in github if you want but well also we have here clickboard weaver that is also a 
useful things. So if you go for example like this text, you copy it and it will show up the text that you have currently on the clickboard. And I am planning to add like clickboard history or like managing more items to it. To copy more items. Yeah, it is basically copying Microsoft Clickboard Enchanter or how it name is. And it basically do those stuff as well. But this is a save way. Instead of having a Microsoft that stores the info in his cloud services and etc. So, well, there you have it. And also by properties, you can also block some processes to didn't will run anyway. So for example, if we go to task manager and uh, you can see that, uh, look how many processes are here running. Like MS Edge web view, for ads to display in windows. You can basically go here, add another process to block list and basically type here ms edge web view 2 and these processes are gone and yeah it is actually safer way right? if you don't want to have some process to be running you can basically block it but be aware of typing those processes for example like svhost svhost lsas win init font driver host smss nts kernel of those processes because it didn't have any checks that if it is a file system process or like that so be aware of this and for example if you want to hide some process only for example a task manager you can also do it like this so you type task manager you reload or click ok you reload the app some processes will show up why but well okay for example when we go to here uh, for for example type notepad i don't know if this will work uh, but is now a different application and as you can see it will not display here even when i reload the app and that is better then that is good if you want somehow for example hide an obs when you are streaming then this is a cool opportunity to do it do you have some ideas that i should add please let me a comment and if you became a channel member then you can get access to all my alpha projects that will came out in my discord server of course thanks again to my now members and we will see you in the next time bye